Switzerland is the world's best hiking and walking destination. And one of the reasons why is because these signs appear at every major trail intersection. It makes hiking here safe, enjoyable, and fun. Have you ever wondered where all these signs come from? We did. Let's find out. We'll take you there. Swiss trail signs have been part of the national trail system since the 1930s. They're accurate, dependable, and easy to spot. So who makes these essential and iconic trail markers? To find the source of these signs, I went to the northern Switzerland city of Aarau and the sign factory of Heischriften. I met with owner Rolf Fischer and production manager Christian. I, I, I had no idea how these signs were made. I just assumed they would well, like, like stick on letters. But, but it's much more complex than that. So many steps, so much, so much uh, technology and complexity that goes into to just a simple hiking sign. In the last 50 years, Heist Schriften has produced about 100,000 of these trail signs. The signs are the result of a public-private partnership between Swiss cantons and the Swiss Rando, the National Hiking Association. And then go back here. Yes. Whoa, pretty, pretty good for a beginner. In Switzerland, you see these bright yellow signs everywhere, in towns and villages, at trailheads and trail junctions, and even at remote mountain passes. They guide you to mountain huts, train stations, cable cars, boat docks, alpine restaurants, and scenic viewpoints. After Christian applies the ink, Signs are dried in an oven for 30 minutes. So after we've painted the sign, it goes into this big pizza oven, right? Yeah, big pizza. Okay. <laughs> While waiting for the signs to dry, Rolf took us into his vault and showed us his stockpile of the most widely used signs ready to be installed. So we have signs for train. Uh, this is a special. So when, uh, when a, uh, a trail, you cannot go Mm -hmm. You must go around. Okay. So this is the color. That's a detour. Yes. So you must have thousands of signs here, yes. but th this is all blank, blank stock, and then you just print whatever, whatever yep. you want on that. Well, Switzerland has 40,000 miles of hiking trails, and that uh, takes a lot of signs to, to cover all those hiking trails yep. and to and to provide the information that the hikers need. Hiking, trekking, and adventure travel is a big part of the Swiss economy. So the signs are paid for with tax revenues, costing about $7 a year per person to install and maintain this nationwide system of signs. For the Swiss, avid hikers, that's money well spent. These are, are wonderful signs. And they, but they have a life. I mean, they're outdoors and they get weather and, and hail storms and lightning. How long does a hiking sign last? Uh, signs who are 30, 40 years. 40 years? Outside. Wow. And perfect. Great. So we cannot say. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. So they may last longer, but yeah. at least the signs that you put up 40 years ago are. Yeah are still up. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. As you can imagine, every sign is a custom order. The information is created for one specific location pointing to nearby destinations. The trail times listed are calculated by local volunteers who hike the routes and report the time taken to arrive under normal weather conditions. Worth noting, they don't factor in time for meals, photography, or bio breaks. Okay, the next step, let's go. Once orders are received, trail sign production starts. The carefully formatted information to be placed on the sign is printed on tightly woven nylon material. These signs are so accurate and helpful that it actually created a problem during wartime. So Rob, you told me an interesting story about what they did with the trail signs in World War II. Yes, in uh, World War II, all the signs must come down. Right. Because uh, the Swiss people have uh, scared 
the, the German knows, ah, Arau, one hour 25. So <laughs> the science must come down. Wow. Swiss people, they knew where, where to go, but the Germans never. Of course, Switzerland was neutral yes. during World War II yep. and World War One. Yes. And uh, that's how they kept, yes, kept themselves well defended. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thanks to Rolf, Christian, and the rest of the Heitschriften team for taking on this valuable mission, producing accurate, dependable, and essential trail information signs for hikers on Swiss Alpine trails. So many steps are involved in manufacturing these iconic yellow signs to ensure they survive years of exposure to sun, snow, wind, and rain. Who knows how many wrong turns and lost hikers these signs may have saved. So, next time you're on the trail, deciding which way to go, watch for the trail signs and know that there's a sign maker looking out for you. This is Greg Witt with Alpenwild. See you on the trail. Nah, I, I blew it. Ross's not going to hire me. <laughs> we'll leave it to Christian. Oh. Ah! Ross? <laughs> ah. Oh, wow. Well. Big hit. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw that in the trash. I, I'm normally proud of my workmanship, but I have to confess to the defect.